Hello guys, it's John, and today I'm here in the heart of music, home to the Beatles. That's right folks, Liverpool. The sun is shining and everybody's happy, and today I'm going on an adventure to see where all these Liverpudlians go to have a top night. I'll see you in the club in about 10 minutes. Hazel Grove, Manchester, and just a seven minute walk from the Metrolink tram stop taking you to the hustle and bustle of the city centre is this amazing and beautiful property that you're about to see. This two story house consisting of five bedrooms, two en suites and two living areas could be the perfect home for you. It's just located in a peaceful avenue just off a quiet country lane and close to local amenities. Let's take a look inside. Hello everyone, it's John and welcome to Out of the Box and today we're going to make some funky eggs just like this one here, Funky Jane. Now all you're going to need is some felt tips, some stickers, some pom-poms, some feathers, polystyrene eggs, some googly eyes, the super glue. Now make sure when you're using the Pritt stick that you have a grown up or somebody older than you. Let's start off. First off, we're going to take our egg. Now this is going to be the body of the egg and this body needs some eyes so we'll start off here by taking some googly eyes. These are very very nice eyes. I'm going to pop them there like this and you know egg doesn't have to have two eyes it can have three it can have four Okay, so you should have something that looks like this. Okay, now the egg now needs a nose and a mouth. So it can breathe, so it can smell. And I'm going to use purple because I really like purple. But you can use any colour that you'd like. So I'm going to draw the nose between the eyes and the smiley face because she's always happy. Okay, and then next up is what I'm going to use is that the egg now needs some hair. So we're going to use the feathers as the hair. So I'm just going to grab any bit of feather like this and I'm going to pop it on. I'm just going to have some funky hairstyle. And there you go, you should end up with something like this. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Make sure you post and send in all your funky eggs so everyone can see how artistic you are. See you soon, bye-bye. Hi, I'm John and here's what Global TV is reporting. There has been one of the biggest drug busts in Australia. Channel 4 have been told that more than a billion dollars worth of cocaine has been seized. Police have been told they were hidden in bra inserts. Two hospitals have been hit in Syria. Channel 4 have been told that Turkey was blaming a Russian missile and at least 14 people had died. A mid-air scare on a New York-bound plane had to return to London after a laser hit a pilot in the eye. A reporter spoke to a passenger on board. Coming on to weather, violent storms are the problem in Austria. ORF said lightning had destroyed car roofs. The Czech Republic said storms there had left one woman dead and wildfires dominated networks in France. In other news, the Bengal tiger, one of our famous endangered species, is starting to increase in population due to intense security and breeding programs. Updates throughout the night. Next up is a Family Guy double. Yeah, the hippie and, you know, free love and all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Can I swear? <laughs> Can I swear? <laughs> is that allowed? I'm at Manchester's famous drag lab, sat here with the fabulous Licorice Black, and today we're going to talk about what life is like being a drag queen. Thank you very much for joining me today, Licky. Thank you for coming, and welcome to the drag lab. So, you sound like a northerner. Whereabouts are you from? Yes, it's true, you've clocked me. I am a true northerner, I am from Manchester. Even though people get me a bit mixed up sometimes, I'm actually Mancunian and nowhere else. What made you want to be a drag queen? I never really wanted to be a drag queen. It just kind of happened, as I know like quite a lot of other drag queens do. I kind of fell into it. I started going out with like a little bit of makeup on. I used to like do 
bit of eyeliner and then eyeliner literally just like escalated like slowly and put more things on it, like you know one thing led to heels and heels led to corsets and next thing you know I'm dressed as I am today. Mm. How did you create Licorice Black? But I just kind of took a lot of influences from a lot of different inspirations. I went to art school and it was during art school that I kind of fell into the Manchester drag scene and, and yeah, I kind of slowly built up the character of Licorice Black. Mm. Why are you based in Manchester? I just never kind of wanted to leave really. I found my tribe in Manchester so there's no need to leave. Mm -hmm. There's lots going on here, you know, like, um, like Media City's just come up here and, and like, um, yeah, Manchester's kind of booming at the moment. How do your family feel about you being a drag queen? Well, my biological family, not my drag family, <laughs> um, they are quite supportive actually. Um, you know, one Christmas my mum bought me some like lashes and nail polish, that was really sweet. And they kind of, they don't really have an issue with it at all. They kind of are very supportive of what I do and it's like as long as I'm happy and etc. You know, so I've not really got the, um, the typical story of, you know, being outcast or anything. I just, yeah, just had a lovely time. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining me today, Licky. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you. Come by again soon. <laughs> Thank you very much for tuning in. We'll see you soon. That's all for now, guys. We've showed you every campus that the University of Salford has to offer for you. We are currently in the New Adelphi building, which lives on the Peel Park campus, where creativity and media is made. Do you think you've got what it takes to be a student at the University of Salford? We'll see you next time, and good luck.